How's it going, everybody? This is Real Time with Naeem Chaudhary, keeping it real all the time. I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. And uh, basically, I know you guys have been probably uh, just straggling from work uh, after such a uh, wonderful long weekend. As they say, you know, the weekends weren't long enough, but uh, thanks for joining me tonight. So basically, on today's Real Time, uh, my thoughts that I basically want to share are, you know, I was, I'm a news junkie, as you guys know, so I was watching CNN last night. And I guess, you know, the thoughts that, you know, been going through my head is how far we as a human race have, you know, come in our humanity and justice. And then also at the same time, how far behind we are as a race and, uh, you know, as, as a people, you know, in different parts of the world. Uh, the things that made me, you know, ponder this is, you know, we're look, I was looking and uh, watching the news on the Arab Revolution that's been going on this year in countries such as Egypt, Libya, Bahrain, Iran, Yemen, and now Syria. So as everyone knows, uh, people have been fighting for freedom you know, from their dictators. They've been fighting freedom of oppression, unemployment, poverty, corruption, and they're tired of uh, you know, their ethnic political hierarchy. You know, people are just fed up with censorship, freedom of, you know, uh, no freedom of religion, freedom of press, and uh, people are just tired of it, and they want to take uh, liberty into their own hands, and uh, that's what we've been seeing. But unfortunately, not all their leaders have been so accommodating to the change that's, you know, basically wanted by the majority of the population. Uh, what recently in the country that's been into light has been Syria, and Syria has been, in, you know, entrenched with, you know, thousands of years of history. You know, basically, you know, stories of Syria are in the Bible. Uh, independence came, you know, in 1946 from the French. And then ninth in, to modern day Syria, which we know today in 1970, there was this guy, his name was Hafiz al-Assad, who became president through a coup. And for 30 years, Hafiz al-Assad uh, basically was the president of Syria and he was one of the most ruthless barbaric inhumane monsters that basically was ever put into office he's well known and very famous for sh breaking down a rebellion in a city called Hama in the early 1980s and he basically called it the scorched earth policy where the city at that point when you know was there was a revolt uh he basically wiped them off the map and tens and thousands of people were killed uh 10 to 80,000 civilians were you know reported have been massacred in Hama uh so i mean unbelievable i mean that we lived in a time that someone in power could do something like that to their own people uh, Bashar al-Assad, which is Hafiz al-Assad's son, who's in power today, came into power in 2000 uh, after the death of his father. And Hafiz al-Assad, when he passed away, his son was supposed to take over, and not Bashar, uh, but his older son had died in a car accident. Uh, Bashar studied ophthalmology. He was Western studied, studied in France, England, and he married a British wife. So people were pretty excited that, you know what, this guy is going to be, you know, kind of the new hope and, uh, you know, the change that, you know, that Syria has been looking for. But yesterday uh, on the news, uh, and it really hit a chord, uh, was, uh, there was a 13-year-old boy, and his name was Hamza Ali Al-Khatib. And Hamza was 13 years old. And his body was uh, returned to his parents, and the body was covered with bruises, cuts, scars, including bullet wounds. His legs and jaws were broken. His genitalia was severed. And this was the work of the Syrian security forces. And uh, I can't imagine what a 13-year-old boy could have done to be mutilated so horribly and what monster animal you know could do something 
so grotesque and, and, and live in modern society and, 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 and be part of a ruling government to do that to their own children, it, it, it just baffles my mind. And, uh, and it really questions, you know, what as a, as a human race, you know, have we come? And, and, and it, it just, it really, really hit a chord. But at the same time, you know, I've seen how far we've come. Uh, I look at uh, what's going on in Joplin, Missouri, and seeing the kindness and compassion of our fellow Americans and seeing Americans uh, all over here, even at work, we were doing a food drive. And, uh, you know, in my building, I saw it earlier. Uh, I've been just seeing people on the side of the road collecting clothes for Joplin and uh, everyone hand in hand and, you know, seeing what they can do and just things on television and uh, just the community coming together. And uh, it was very relieving and uh, just such a such a displacement of, you know, how and where we are in the world and where people are at. But uh, that's today's real time. Uh, thanks for uh, joining me. Uh, just a couple of shout outs. Uh, Unique Industrial. This is, a, it's a uh, high quality engineering and a products uh, company. So information is right over here. If you guys are interested and you guys are in the oil and gas industry and looking for quality products, Unique Industrial Product Company is the company. Uh, if you're looking for cast iron pipe, please check out New Age Casting on www.newagecasting.com. And if you're looking for insurance, Con Insurance is the best in Houston, auto, home, business, life, health, dental, and bonds. All right, guys. Well, thank you. And until next time.